Hi everyone, this will be my review on the Kringle 2 Wick 100% Soy Candle in the scent Salt Water Taffy, which retails for $29.50 for 22 ounces. The scent description for Salt Water Taffy lists scrumptious notes of creamy smooth taffy layer with sweet essences of gourmand vanilla, tangy strawberry, luscious pink berry, and pure cane sugar, joined by a dash of sparkling sea salt. Top notes list sugar, vanilla, mid notes list strawberry, sea salt, base notes list fruit, and sweet. So for the label, I really like the almost watercolor effect. It gets the point across. While burning, I feel like the strawberry note really dominates, whereas on cold sniff, I got more of the sweet candy-like notes, which I assume is the sweetness from the cane sugar. I thought what I detected was a citrus note, but that could just be the tanginess from the berry notes. But now I get more of a smashed strawberry juice, which reminds me of the freshness you get from either a cucumber or a melon. I know sea salt is listed, but I feel like I can't really detect that note unless it's the slight wateriness I'm getting. And if I'm not mistaken, salt is odorless, so I'm not surprised that I'm not getting any like a salt note. I can't say that I've tried saltwater taffy recently, but when I did, I tried taffy candy back when the 99 used to actually sell products for 99 cents. And I don't think this smells like the taffy candy that I've tried before. The taffy I'm used to is more creamy, fluffy, whereas this smells more like a mixed bag of strawberries. I barely get any of the vanilla, let alone a creamy vanilla. So I think that's why I don't get an authentic saltwater taffy from this. If I didn't know what the scent notes were, I would assume it was something like strawberry juice or something along those lines. It still smells good. The water or aquatic note is apparent. Not salty water, but refreshing water. So on cold, I would give it a 5 out of 10. And while burning, I would say that the strength hasn't been consistent. At the strongest, which was when I first started burning the candle, it was maybe about a 7.5, maybe an 8 out of 10. However, now that I am at about the halfway mark, it's more like a 7 out of 10. Before, I could smell it stronger earlier on in my burn, but now I feel like I have to wait for the scent to build up like my other Kringle candles. For reference, I burned this anywhere from 1 to 6 hours in my medium-sized room as well as my sister's smaller room. I initially trimmed my wicks, but then I wanted to test out the quote-unquote self-trimming wicks people stated that they were, despite what the label stated at the bottom, which is to trim your wick. And I do not consider these self-trimming, nor will I continue to use them as such. I'll maybe insert a photo or a video, but if you don't trim these wicks, when you go to relight them and if they have those like mushroom tops, they have a tendency to pop and when I did not trim my wicks, the little bits of carbon fell from the wick into the pool of wax. So I'm not sure if that is what is contributing to the scent change or the prolonged burn times. However, there is no sitting or almost non-existent wax discoloration. Not only that, but I feel like the scent on cold has changed before it smelled more pure, I guess that would be the best way to describe it. Initially, I got this light sugary sweetness and tang from the berries. I'm not sure if what I smell now is more of the soy wax itself, or maybe I've burned this for too long and I don't know, used up too much of the fragrance oils, but it's definitely lighter and not as true to the original fragrance when I first smelled it. To reiterate, I feel like the scent does change while burning. It gets less sweet and transforms into this almost strawberry drink scent. I think it would be best to burn during the day or perhaps like season-wise, I would say spring and summer. Before I got to the halfway mark, this candle was able to fill up my medium-sized room no problem and I didn't have to burn this for too long in order to make the scent stronger. I would say at the one hour mark, it was at that medium level. Now, however, I have to go back to burning this for about two-ish hours to build up the strength. This might sound weird, but I like the scent more the closer I am to the candle since I get more of that strawberry slash berry note. Overall, I would say that this is a good candle, not too sweet or candy-like. It's not artificial by any means, but a refreshing strawberry drink. I would recommend this if you enjoy strawberry scents. While I don't get any fluffy creaminess from the vanilla, I like that this could be almost like an upscale healthy starburst. 
However, this candle doesn't smell like the taffy I've tried in the past. If I ordered from Kringle again, I wouldn't repurchase it though. I feel like this is a one and done type of candle for me. I also think this would be a good candle to layer with another scent. So for example, you can burn this with a vanilla scent to make it more of a strawberries and cream. Or maybe add a citrus candle to make it like a strawberry lemonade. I personally feel like burning this candle is fine on its own and it doesn't need to necessarily be burned alongside another candle. Alright, so that was my review on the Kringle 2 Wick 100% Soy Candle in the scent Saltwater Taffy.